<coughs> Hi, this is Andy Scott with North Shore Apartments and Condos. We're going into a big studio at nine, uh, 907 Elmwood, uh, number D1. And you can see when we walk through the front door, we see a very large living room. But before we go into the living room, you see the intercom and behind the door is an, is an, whoops, is an entry closet that is about four feet long with a hanging barn shelf and about two feet wide. So it's a good size. You also have a couple of shelves up above. Good size closet. Okay, so as we walk in, you can see this big living room. I would say it's probably about 13 feet long by about 16 feet across, maybe 15 feet across. You see the uh, radiator in the right corner. The windows are facing north and they're newer windows, they're replacement windows. We have another closet as we approach the windows. Now this one's sort of in the corner. So this one's a little deeper, maybe two and a half feet, but it's about the same width, maybe four to five feet with a hanging bar, a shelf, and just a nice second closet. You see the whole apartment has hardwood floors and we're looking back at the entry door but we're also seeing the dining area into the kitchen. Now the living room and the dining area is separated by the French doors which you can see. We've just finished painting so you see a little dust on the floors but we will clean that up for you. The windows look out onto the courtyard which is a very pretty gated courtyard. In the spring and summer, the flowers are in bloom. It's just very pretty. And let's see if I can show you the gate. There's the gate. So again, we look back, we see the big second closet, the entry, the French doors separating the dining area. And again, we have this huge living area. And we'll walk towards the dining area. Now the dining area is probably about 10 feet across probably an 8 by 10 area. Again, it's hardwood floors. Uh, nothing particularly special except that you do have a light fixture with a ceiling fan, so that's kind of nice. Again, you can separate the dining area and the kitchen with, by the French doors. The kitchen has really been remodeled, so these cabinets are new, the, micro, uh, the microwave is new, full-size stove is new, storage underneath, rock countertops. So these are granite countertops, which you can see. And you've got a drawer. It looks new because it is new. A little harder to see underneath there, so I'll open up here. And you've got your basic, they're about 10 inch deep shelves, three shelves high. The stove is not, I, I said new stove, it's not a brand new stove. It's newer, but it's a full size stove. And it looks like we need to clean the stove a little, but we will do that. The microwave, however, is brand new. We have the back door, which takes you down to the laundry area. The windows are facing, um, wow, I'm turned around. So that's east, this would be south. We're in the back of the building. The fridge, is brand new and there's the tag. It's about five feet, eight inches high. Oops, we haven't put the shelves in yet. So, I mean, it's really brand new and we will get the shelves set up for you. Again, we have rock countertops, storage up above and new cabinets. A dishwasher, which is not brand new. Whoops but there it is, very easy to use, nice and clean. Stainless steel sink with a hose attachment. I'll just turn on, there we go, get the hot water going for you. So I would be very surprised if we had any issues under here because it's brand new, like I said, but you can use that as extra storage. Turn that off. And I just stand back by the back windows and show you how big this apartment is. It's probably 30 feet from where I am to the windows, maybe more. 
and like I said, the uh, living area is just huge. The floors in the kitchen were replaced, so these are brand new. It's just a very nice apartment. <clears throat> and we have a, uh, a dressing. This would have been called the dressing room. Basically a huge walk-in closet next to the bath. And uh, it has its own light fixture. And you can see some hooks in the back. It's probably six feet across by about eight feet long. We do have some built-in closets right here. But otherwise, the space is just wide open. You can hear my voice even echoes a little bit in here. And then we would go into the bath, which is sort of your standard vintage bath. You see the toilet, the pedestal sink. The shower head's probably about 6'3". Tiles are nice and clean. Let me turn on the light. Ooh, a yellow light. I don't like that. Again, we have newer windows, so they're easy to open, easy to air out. I'll, check the, I'll show you the hot water here. Dynamic water pressure in this building. The tiles are nice and clean, even though they're the original tiles. There's a medicine cabinet right there. Boy, I don't like the yellow light. Nice clean tiles over here. And again, we'll check the hot water. And you can just hear how powerful that is. You can see it's draining. And I'm not sure how easy that is to see, but there you see great water pressure. And again, it's draining very easily. So I'll shut that down. Tub is nice and clean. Newer windows. Actually, the area around the windows has been rebuilt. And you have a second pressure bar so you can put up two uh, curtains to protect the wood. Tile floors, big dressing area. I mean, again, I don't know what you'd call it now, but it's a huge walk-in closet space. I'll open this door. We'll go out into the living room, see the living room again. We have a shelf to the right. The closet in the corner. And if I just shut one of these doors, it'll show you what I mean by the French doors. So I'll walk back to the window. This apartment is obviously ready to go almost immediately. So there you get an idea of what it would look like with one or both of the uh, doors closed. Just a very nice studio. The rent is $9.75 and that includes heat and water. Um, and that brings us back to the front door. Thank you for watching.